Hello, I'm Andy DeRoss, the Superintendent of School District 54. This spring, I facilitated a District 54 team of students, parents, teachers, support staff, administrators, and school board members who revised the district's goals document. As part of this process, we wrote five vision statements which revolve around the following. Student learning, curriculum, instruction, and assessment, professional learning communities, family and community, and fiscal responsibility. This month, I will discuss the curriculum instruction and assessment vision, which says, to equip students to meet college and career readiness standards, we provide a rigorous and engaging curriculum. We set 12 expectations as part of this vision statement. Thank you for allowing me to highlight a few of those expectations for you. One expectation is, use data from common assessments to drive instructional changes. I'm often asked why schools test students. The answer is simple. We want to know each child's strengths and weaknesses so we can tailor the curriculum to meet its needs. In District 54, we use local assessments developed by teams of teachers at each school. We look at the Illinois Standards Achievement Test, or ISAT, to learn how our students are doing compared to other students across the state. And we also look at the results from a nationally normed test called MAP, which stands for Measures of Academic Progress. District 54 implemented MAP testing for a variety of reasons. This computerized assessment is unique because it adapts to the student's ability, accurately measuring what a child knows and needs to learn. In addition, while ISAT shows us how a student performed on one day, the MAP assessment measures academic growth over time. Three other expectations that sometimes go together are differentiate instruction based on student needs, implement a variety of timely interventions and enrichment strategies to meet student needs, and use technology as a tool to support the delivery of instruction and enhance student learning. With the data in hand, our staff plans instruction for each child. Our students come to District 54 schools from a variety of backgrounds. Some have had years of formal preschool, others have never been to school before. Some cannot speak English, some have learning or other disabilities. Regardless of their backgrounds, it is our mission to ensure student success and our staff is committed to helping each child reach his full potential. District 54 provides daily blocks of acceleration time in math and literacy. During this time, some students are working in small groups with their classroom teacher or a resource teacher. Other students may be working independently to further advance the skills they have mastered. Our teachers are also able to differentiate instruction with the use of technology. For example, over the past few years, many of our students with speech disabilities have been using iPads to communicate with their teachers and their classmates. The use of technology isn't limited to interventions. All students have access to technology. There are computers located in every classroom and advanced forms of technology in our STEM labs. We know the importance of technology in today's classroom. However, we also know that by the time our students graduate from college, there could be new forms of technology that haven't been invented yet. So while we use technology to further our instruction, we also teach students to be critical thinkers to better prepare them for whatever the future may hold. Thank you for allowing me to share with you our vision for curriculum, instruction, and assessment. In January, I will discuss the professional learning community's vision statement. To read the complete goals document, which includes all of our vision statements, visit our goals webpage. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call.